can you hear? Louder? I, I can't speak louder. Uh, I thought what I would do tonight is read a few poems, three poems from early books, and then concentrate on a slightly larger selection from my m three most recent books. It's difficult to give a sense of an individual volume, how it differs from its predecessors, why it, what, what its motives and concerns are. It's difficult to do this in one or two poems, and so what's sacrificed in a more panoramic reading is that sense of a de the density of a volume. But I'm doing that anyway. <laughs> the first poem is called Mock Orange. It is not the moon, I tell you. It is these flowers lighting the yard. I hate them. I hate them as I hate sex, the man's mouth sealing my mouth, the man's paralyzing body, and the cry that always escapes, the low, humiliating premise of union. In my mind tonight, I hear the question and pursuing answer fused in one sound that mounts and mounts and then is split into the old selves, the tired antagonisms. Do you see? We were made fools of, and the scent of mock orange drifts through the window. How can I rest? How can I be content when there is still that odor in the world? Two poems from The Wild Iris, uh, a book in which some of, many of the poems are spoken by flowers. The Red Poppy. The great thing is not having a mind. Feelings, oh, I have those. They govern me. I have a Lord in heaven called the sun and open for him, showing him the fire of my own heart, fire like his presence. What could such glory be if not a heart? Oh, my brothers and sisters, were you like me once, long ago, before you were human? Did you permit yourselves to open once who would never open again? Because in truth, I am speaking now the way you do. I speak because I am shattered. The Wild Iris. At the end of my suffering, there was a door. Hear me out. That which you call death, I remember. Overhead noises, branches of the pine shifting. Then nothing. The weak sun flickered over the dry surface. It is terrible to survive as consciousness buried in the dark earth. Then it was over. That which you fear, being a soul and unable to speak, ending abruptly the stiff earth, bending a little, and what I took to be birds darting in low shrubs. You who do not remember passage from the other world, I tell you I could speak again. Whatever returns from oblivion returns to find a voice. From the center of my life came a great fountain, deep blue shadows on azure seawater. 